Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Joanna Sutherland, who is suing Todd Feldman for defamation of character. He said every time he started speaking about him, himself or an experience, he was always geared back by one of your people. So it sounded like that's what he spoke about for two hours. So if there was somebody there to monitor him, it sounds like they actually monitored him and geared him back into the right direction. So what's the problem? The, the, the problem is that after he finished, he made subliminal statements and it also caused me to lose out on speakers for my next event, which, which caused me to lose money and lose attendees because these speakers that he spoke to decided to drop out of my what program. What did you say and who do you say it to? Who did uh, you say people it to? have asked me how, how, I, how I enjoyed my experience, same as if I had gone out to a restaurant and I did not have a positive uh, reply because a lot of the things that were promised to me were not delivered on. Like what? I actually have an email that says, will I be able to promote my, my, my new book during my speech, right? And she says, yes. Promote? I did not say you could sell your materials. I'm going to Let's talk about clear. a book I don't have to offer people. Let's be clear. You can tell somebody to go on Amazon to get your book. You do not have to set up. Okay? That kind of goes against what you do. Well, because my selling my material, maybe somebody isn't going to buy her materials. I mean, if you're you, I mean, and let's be honest, you're using him because he's making you look good. But I'm paying him, so but we're it both, doesn't matter. We're a big girl, so you paid him to come to make you look good, and so therefore, don't tell me that if an author who's not who's successful is coming to speak at your event and to prop you up, that he wouldn't be interested in selling books. But that's not what we agreed upon. I said he could speak okay. about his book. So let's talk, about, I never what you, said let's he talk could about what you agreed upon. You agreed upon the speaker is required to dedicate a portion of his presentation detailing his own positive experience as a young writer symposium participant. He did that. End of story. So you are claiming that he defamed you? How yes. did he defame you? By telling other people okay. that I hired and wanted to speak at my other event about his experience saying that I didn't hold up my end of the bargain, that what I'm not a good businesswoman. And hey, how was Joanna's event? I said I enjoyed speaking, which I often do. Uh, I would have liked to have promoted my book more. He's like, you weren't able to do that? I said, no. I was told I'd be able to set up a table and sell copies of my book. I wasn't able to do that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really defame her. I more expressed what I was unhappy about, what I felt wasn't delivered to me. Okay, so he expressed his opinion. Expressing your opinion. Was it, was it false? No. For, well, yes, was it was fraudulent? false because I never no. said that he could set up. I have um, evidence of him subtweeting about my event. Um, I also have evidence of authors okay, pulling let, out let of my event. Let me see what is the false statement that you're alleging. You come to court, you give me the evidence. Aside from him giving his opinion that he felt it was an okay presentation, an okay workshop, what else? So then he says, well, that's a lesson learned. Get everything in writing, kids. How is that defamatory against you? It, it doesn't even refer is, to you. It's false because... It doesn't he, refer to you. It says, well, that's a lesson learned. Get everything in writing. That's not a false statement. It's true, actually. It's a very good statement. It's true. But he tweeted it right after he left my event. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, that's when I got three emails from people saying that they were going to drop out of my program. He has a right to his opinion. You should have been a little bit more forthright in your contract. I was. Of course I didn't no, lie in the contract. No, you weren't. He spoke about his book. I never put in the contract that he could set up. I never put in the contract that he could set up his book. And you're a writer? Did you write your own contract? We sat together and had it drawn up by a lawyer. So, you know, when you write, it's about the details, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of looking at everything. How do you make these words grow? How do you give them meaning? How do you express yourself? Dedicate a portion of a presentation. What's a portion? Is it a third? Is it a fourth? Is it an hour? Is it two hours? What is it that you want me to do? I mean, how can he do that every single word for two hours? I, did, I, I never said he had to speak about my program the whole two hours. Well, that's why you're upset that he didn't no, do I'm it. No, I'm upset because I lost money. And then you're upset money. because you feel that he expressed his opinion and he said something that was not true. 
under a, a defamation claim, we have to prove that a statement was published, that that statement was false, and that you suffered loss. Okay? Yes, people, two speakers backed out. So technically, that's a loss. The statement was not false. The statement was his opinion. This written statement even didn't even have anything to do with you. It's just a statement saying, get everything in writing, kids. He gave his opinion. And it sounds like it wasn't a very good experience. I mean, I wasn't even there, and it sounds like it was not a very good experience. How they, so? But, how so? Yes, how so? You can replay this back and listen to yourself and listen to him and understand why it was not a good statement. Every time you start talking about somebody else, somebody in your camp said, oh, come back and talk about the, about about this. So that's what he did for two hours. You hired him to do that. That's exactly what he did. So based on the evidence, I'll deny your claim for $10,000 as I find that there was no defamatory statement and no loss due to a defamatory statement. Good luck. Thank you. All rise. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I think it was a fair ruling. Write a book. <laughs> I disagree. And next time you subtweet, you better watch your back. Coming up on Justice